Hello, AMA Screamers. Welcome to my... I'm an adventure travel writer, so Christmas for me usually means travel. This year, it's first tracks to the deepest powder in 100 years. Last year, it was jumping out of the Now. Now. Um. <laughs> Welcome back, Anime Screamers, to the one-stop destination for all things horror anime. Top 10s, lists, predictions, reactions, and more! Let dive it. Get ready to dive into the fight. Spine chilling and captivation top 10s, what ifs, intriguing top 10s, and with in-depth reviews, and what that not all. Today, uh, we are doing the unique twist as we explore the top 10 Backstreet Boys songs. Honestly, we're going to go to the 90s. And we're going to tell us why. I am not joking. Because the Backstreet Boys. All these songs are wonderful. Because I am stoked about this uh, epic song list. Because we're going to pack the music lovers worldwide. Yay! And... Uh, for this list, we're going to tackle the fucking, the fucking ballpark and the thrill line to the anime journey of the freaking, uh, through the realm of anime, horror, and memorize the melodies of the Backstreet Boys. Let's uh, get started! Now... Before we get started, here's the quest. Give me a like. Give me a, a follow. Give me a subscribe. Ring that notification bell for uh, to, to uh, listen for my new videos. They come in uh, just one per day. Um... Give me a fucking, give me a fucking comment, give me a fucking, and, and whatever you uh, want me to do for your next vid, for the next video, for top tens, what ifs, reviews, I am hooked. And I will actually do it for you. I am the one and only, the anime screamer, the anime scream. I am the biggest fan of both anime and horror movies, pop culture, Family Guy, and The Simpsons. I crumba. Mm. Hi ho! Excellent. Let's get on here. Number ten. We got it going on from the debut album of "American Boy" from the Backstreet Boy, released in 1995. This uh, is a danceable album, and it's an R&B. If you use a pop dance at R&B, uh, that element is a catchy hook. That is a youthful, and that is uh, for the late 90s and early 20s. And the music video is a band performing at a ball court that the uh, fans show and uh, dancers as uh, showcase their charisma and the and the dance moves. Oh, 
Body is the music, everybody. Um, I I got go on it's actually a good song i am i am sorry i just i just i just have a blank brain fart next is show me uh the meaning from the 1999 album released in 1999 it's a heartbreak album anthem uh feeling that reflects heartbreak and emptiness that actually is a lot about the lost love that is actually memorable that is a timeless classic that is actually (laughs) 
Oh, it's a hosp. It's about a hospital. I really wish it. I can play this song. I really can. Guys, I am so sorry. I, I, I did not mean to cry on here, but damn, this song is. Is about uh, about having a loved one. Uh, about somebody uh, is uh, somebody been ripped away from you. I mean, somebody been ripped away from you. So long. So soon. This is such a heartbreaking song. Okay, number eight is more than that. More than that is actually a song released in 2001. That uh, in their fourth, uh, the second single of the fourth studio album, uh, Black and Blue. It's an R&B, another romance album that is a, is a commercial success that is a joy romantic catchy
be safe. You want to show up our night skills? I want him to tell me. Oh, what's that? You tell me about the old place. <laughs> Okay, next is seven. Don't go breaking my heart from. Uh, it's from the American boy. It's actually from the 2018 uh, Knife Studio album from DNA. They still do it from 2018? Really? It's a mem. It's really. It's. It's actually. Become a commercial success, a one of Miami, but really, oh, yeah, they uh, premiere in. And,
Every person. Breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. Breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. Go breaking my heart, breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart, breaking my heart. You go breaking my heart. You go breaking my heart. Now, okay. Now, next is quick. Playing games with my heart from uh, it's actually released. It's a classic 1996 move music video that is actually a freaking ball baller with catchy uh, melodies, smooth ha- harmonies. That is actually a good disco chord. Hit quit. Play with my heart. Yeah. 
There is. Oh. Any games? My heart. Where my heart? And time. As long as you love me. Okay, from the 1977, the second studio album, The Backstreets Back. Uh, it's a catchy pop beat that is actually a, is actually a commercial success. A lot of the freaking pop Backstreet Boys uh, group. Songs are some of the more commercial success.
just song I just wow number four everybody from the second studio album the backstreets if from 1997 it's also a, a fusion of their famous elements pop dance and R&B honestly the, every, it's a uh, everybody dress uh, it's a uh, Horror theme with a uh, fucking it's uh, a costume inspired horror movies that inspire from the late nineties song and Actually, that's exactly what we think we can do. So, you take that mo. Three tables, you'll crispy wraps. Eat it with the meal, Lord, have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack, and it fits in one hand. Uh, 
Okay, this is a whole win song. And you wondering, what the freak is is a TikTok song doing on the on the back street? This is the this is where the freaking meme come from, everybody. Okay, never. I want it that way. Oh my god. This is the ballad of freaking from the album of 1999. And this is uh, the song of the harmony and the debut album of the Backstreet Boys. And this is. Uh, uh, our story has impacted so many people. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 I want it that way. Tell more. Uh, 
I want it that way. Why ain't nothing but me or ache? Tell me why ain't nothing but mistake. Tell me why I got no you say. I want it that way. I want one desire. Tell me why ain't nothing but me. Tell me why ain't nothing but me. Tell me why I got to hear you say I want it that way. Also a part of Backstreet album that is also uh, that continue for years to come. A futuristic future of three thousand. Um... 
Before I get to number one, please hit that fucking like. Fucking share. Fucking comment. Fucking subscribe and fucking hit that bell for a fucking new time. Now, number one. The Shape of Heart, which is releasing the third album of Black and Blue uh, for 2000. Really, this is number one? Naeem. This had Melo vibe and I couldn't finish on the other one because I was crying. What made this uh, number one? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Fancy face. Fancy face. Fancy face. Fancy face. Fancy 
As we reach the end of the spine pillar jo- journey of the top 10 Backstreet Boys, thank you for joining us, AMA Screamers. We hope you enjoy it for this top 10 list. For the combine of my the AMA Scream 1798, the combine of both the anime world and the horror world, and also, we dive in for top tens, horror, what ifs, top tens, reviews, reactions, and more. Tomorrow, to start the marks of my greatest series, my series for the the Christmas, for Christmas. Is the 25 days of horrors I will do with a bang to end off the BHS series, which I'm not going to do the freaking uh, spin off series because I will do that at a later date uh, for n- next year because frankly, I don't want to get into that. VHS 85. 
Released in 2023. Get ready for a long, month-long celebration of all things horror. For the dose of horror of, of everything. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! And I will also do uh, some more what ifs storylines and also do my top 10 list. If you actually won't miss a single one, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. And then stay scared, stay curious, stay, stay uh, in the whole genre, stay in the every genre, stay in the every genre. And if you got one thing for horror, one thing for anime, one for thing for anything, I, I'm I'm actually uh. This is the anime scream sign off, but before I do, there's actually one more thing I'm actually forgot to tell you about. Um, my favorite, uh, my favorite horror movies, The Ghoulies, released in the uh, 80s and night, uh, early 90s. Uh, what are the ghoulies? Well, I, I, you guys actually never ask me. Before I sign off, the ghoulies are an American comedy horror film that was actually created by a book series, a complete book series. I have four films. Ghoulies, Ghoulies uh, 2, Ghoulies 3, and Ghoulies 4. Ghoulies was created by Luca Bavicci. And it also stars Pia Lapis. Uh, also, uh, some more, and they got three sequels, Gully 2, Gully 3, and Gully 4, and also Gully 3, Gully 4, and Gully. Uh... The third and fourth is non Wikipedia because for some reason the freaking so I'm just going to end off here, but. But, I will actually try to do it. 
do ghoulies, uh, ghoulies, uh, later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.